Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. pray. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Now in the time of this mortal life in which your son Jesus Christ came to visit, visit us in great humility, that in the last day when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the living and the dead, we may rise to life immortal through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Oh, that you would tear open the heavens and come down, so that the mountains would quake at your presence, as when fire kindles brushwood and the fire causes water to boil, to make your name known to your adversaries so that the nations might tremble at your presence. When you did awesome deeds that we did not expect, you came down, the mountains quaked at your presence. From ages past, no one has heard, no ear has perceived, no eye has seen any God besides you who works for those who wait for him. You meet those who gladly do right, those who remember you in your ways. But you were angry and we sinned because you hid yourself, we transgressed. We have all become like one who is unclean, and all our righteous deeds are like a filthy cloth. We all fade like a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, take us away. There is no one who calls on your name or attempts to take hold of you, for you have hidden your face from us and have delivered us into the hand of our iniquity. Yet, O oh Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay, and you are our potter. We are all the work of your hand. Do not be exceedingly angry, O oh Lord, and do not remember iniquity forever. Now consider, we are all your people. The word of the Lord. Be Please join me in reading Psalm 80, responsibly by whole verse. <clears throat> Hear, O shepherd of Israel, leading Joseph like a flock, shine forth you that are enthroned upon the cherubim. In the presence of Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh, stir up your strength and come to help us. Restore us, O God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angered, despite the prayers of your people? You have fed them with the bread of tears. You have given them bowls of tears to drink. You have made us the derision of your neighbors, and our enemies laugh us to scorn. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give my thanks to my God always for you because of the grace of God that has been given you in Christ Jesus. For in every way you have been enriched in him, in speech and knowledge of every kind, just as the testimony of Christ has been strengthened among you so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revealing of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will also strengthen you to the end, so that you may be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful. By him you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Lift up your hearts and hear the holy gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, according to St. Mark, the 13th chapter. Jesus said, But in those days after that suffering, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will be fallen from heaven, and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory, then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the, from the ends of the earth and the ends of heaven. From the fig tree, learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts forth its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also, when you see these things taking place, you know that he is near at the very gates. Truly, I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have passed away. Until all these things have taken place, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But about that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. Beware, keep alert, for you do not know when the time will come. It will be like a man going on a journey when he leaves home and puts his slaves in charge, each with his work, and commands a doorkeeper to be on the watch. Therefore, keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or at dawn, or else he may find you asleep when he come suddenly. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. This is the gospel of our Lord. trying to be gentle with the book so it didn't knock out one of our new acolytes. <laughs> <clears throat> Dear friends in Christ, Christ, grace, mercy, and peace to you. From God our maker, by the power of the Holy Spirit, the word made flesh, the one for whom we stay awake, Jesus, Lord and Savior. And all God's people say, Amen. Amen. So I want to talk to you folks for a few minutes this morning on this first Sunday in the season of Advent. Advent from the Latin word adventus, meaning the coming one. And I want to talk to you about staying in focus. <clears throat> in March of 2003, I found myself taking part in the invasion of Iraq, a large-scale ground combat operation. We left Fort Riley, Kansas. We arrived in and trained for weeks in Kuwait on the border of Iraq. We staged at the Iraqi border. We got the word to go, and off we went crossing the berm into Iraq. The military likes to say no one gets left behind. That's mostly true. However, during the invasion, when your unit is pushing across the desert for 24 hours straight, no one stops and no one waits. If you break down or get lost, you get found later. So the unit I was the chaplain for literally fought and pushed our way across the desert for 24 hours straight. I drove our Humvee because as the chaplain, I was a non-combatant, which freed my chaplain assistant, Sergeant Abney, to protect me if necessary. However, Sergeant Abney could fall asleep anywhere, anytime, at a moment's notice. <laughs> he literally slept through an artillery duel that we were driving under. 
Anyway, it was dusty and dirty and difficult to see. I remember at one point weaving my way through a herd of camels, not losing sight of our tanks. The camels looked at us, at us as if to say, who is invading us now? But more seriously, at one point, in the middle of the evening, after driving for 18 hours straight, driving using my night vision goggles, exhausted, my windshield clouded and obscured with desert dust and sand, I looked to my left to see a tank, and I looked to my right to see a tank, and I realized that two tanks were closing in on us, and they could not see us, threatening to crush us. I looked to my rear, and I saw nothing, so I hit the brakes. I slowed down, I paused, and I let the tanks get ahead of me. Because I was tired, exhausted, and struggling to stay awake, my vision was cloudy. I was off course, in danger, and out of focus. Dear friends, when your vision is obscured, when you are exhausted and overwhelmed by daily life, by hurt, by trauma, by grief, when you are struggling to stay awake, it is easy to lose focus. We are not at our best when we are tired or exhausted, struggling to stay awake. That is why a lot of military combat focus training involves intentional sleep deprivation. So you are ready and not caught unawares when the real thing takes place. Which is what Jesus, pausing on the eve of his death on the cross, is alluding to this morning as he calls us to live as if he's returning right now. Advent, a season of longing, change, prayer, introspection, and expectation is upon us. This is a season of the year when we, the people of the way, the Jesus movement in this time and place, when we are called to be ready and to stay awake, to look for the birth of the brown-skinned Middle Eastern, very Jewish, undocumented immigrant Jesus, and the return of Jesus which will be the coming of the kingdom that we pray for every Sunday. To earth, to heal, to repair, to restore. It will happen when God decides it will happen. Jesus tells us not to worry about that, but we are to stay awake and keep our vision clear. We are to wait, to look, and to bear witness to Jesus and all we say and do. And worry and anxiety anyway simply rob us of a present and a future that may not have even happened or may not ever happen. We stay awake and keep our vision clear by slowing down, by praying, by centering ourselves, by bathing in the warmth and the embrace of a God who calls us his own children, who fills us with grace upon grace upon grace, especially as we come to this welcome table where we receive the full presence of Jesus. We watch the one we watch and stay alert and awake for. And then as we stay awake, we watch, we bear witness, and keep a keen eye by looking for Jesus in others, by treating and viewing all others as children of God, by serving and caring for others in real, concrete, and tangible ways, reflecting on ways we can grow and love and serve God and others better so they too might flourish. I wanted to share this with you. This is one of the letters from the Century Santa, which was held... Uh, here last Sunday, where Santa and Mrs. Claus, um, David and Jenny Quebedo from here at Holy Comforter, provided a quiet and safe experience, a respite for children on the spectrum from all over the state and for God's children with disabilities and their families. This ministry, like the others we have here, which serve others, which put skin on God's love, which tangibilitate the love of God in Jesus are an example of what Jesus says in the last words of today's gospel, or good news, when he says, what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. So this letter is from Benny, and Benny's three years old. Benny says, dear Santa, my name is Benny. <clears throat> I am three years old. I have been, check one, nice, naughty, or both. <laughs> Benny checked both. <laughs> Benny has been naughty, and nice. And Benny is honest. We are all naughty and nice. We are all sinners and saints at the same time. That is the human condition. Sin is simply being focused and curved in on yourself, being the center of one's own universe. That's what clouds our vision and causes us to become drowsy and to lose focus as we wait and as we watch. 
We are saints because we are saved by grace and called to grow in that grace. We are all on a journey. We come from God and we are all walking one another home to God. We are all, you are all, as our first lesson says, the work of God's hands. We are all working on being alert and staying awake <clears throat> and all we say and in all we do. The season we begin this morning calls us deeper. It whispers to us in the winter chill, keep awake. It is a call of urgency and longing, a call of promise and hope. Things will not always be as they are. Something and someone is coming. Advent calls and whispers, slow down, pause, breathe, pray, consent and surrender to the presence of the God already in you. Be vigilant, see clearly, because even when the dark night of the soul is long, remember, morning is coming. Stay awake. Amen? Amen. For this Advent season, let us offer our prayers to God, saying, Lord, have mercy. That our gracious Savior may rouse us from sleep and make us attentive to the nearness of his presence, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may discover God's word in every sound of this world, God's touch in every human embrace, and God's love in every gesture of self-sacrifice among us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That divine energy and holy grace may bring our hearts to vigilance and make us see with uncovered eyes the Christ who suffers in his people's agonies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may come to recognize in our holy assembly gathered for prayer that Jesus the Christ is here with us to make our songs of praise and pleading his own. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That God's coming into the days and years of our human history may be always near, always brimming with light to drive all darkness away. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for the sick. Shannon Ricapero, Eddie Soriano, Mary Chambers, Joy Waldo, Cindy Hall, Bill Jacob, Betty Hansen, Terry Williams that God, their constant companion and champion, may grant them healing and hope and life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life, for those with special celebrations, for those celebrating birthdays, Glenn Fulgham, Jack Morris, and Linda Morgan, for those celebrating anniversaries, Bobby and Janet Barnett, Thanksgiving for all our outreach partners, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
We pray for all who have died that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Lauren Wilson, Tom Nash, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Take ready our hearts for your coming, O Lord. And receive our prayers in the name of the one who comes, our gracious Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. <clears throat> we pray to you also for the forgiveness of our sins. Most merciful God. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Now remember to share the peace with our brothers and sisters joining us online. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. Let us share Christ's peace. And now walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and sacrifice to God.
the Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, because you sent your beloved Son to redeem us from sin and death, and to make us heirs in him of everlasting life, that when he shall come again in power and great triumph to judge the world, we may without shame or fear rejoice to behold his appearing. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love with which you have made known to us in creation and the calling of Israel to be your people. And your word spoken through the prophets and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus, your son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the savior and redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take and eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming glory. We offer our sacrifice and praise and thanks given to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ and bring us to that heavenly country where with all your saints we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our honor and glory is yours, almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now as our Savior has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. Trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. This is the table, not of the church, but of the Lord. It is made ready for those who love him, and those who want to love him more. So come, you who have much faith, and you who have little, you who have been here often, and you who have not been here long. You who have tried to follow, and you who have failed. Come, because it is the Lord who invites you. It is the Lord's will that those who desire Jesus should meet him here at this table. Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. The gifts of God for the people of God. Please be seated. You are all invited and welcome and wanted at our Lord's table. If you come forward, I will give you the bread, the body of Christ. If you go to the, your right, you can
can receive from the common cup. You go to your left, you can dip the bread into the wine and receive by intention. Uh, or if you want to just come forward for a blessing, you can do that also. When the meal is prepared, the table is ready, come and receive Jesus.
love, make haste to be found. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us go forth into the world rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Yeah, 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 yeah. 